you people and welcome back in to another episode. We are going to rumble down under. Um, rumble, rumble, grumble, grumble. That's what the stream is called. <laughs> yeah, episode two. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. Sly Cooper and the gang in Rumble Down Under. <clears throat> Alright. So we're going to get Murray released from his training. Hopefully... Yindumu, Australia at 8.14 p.m. I hope I pronounced that right. Yindumu? I do love the black bars not being scaled properly. It's, it's so funny to me. <laughs> I don't know why they aren't, but they just aren't. And it's always so funny to see. New training available. We're not going to do the training. It's to play as Murray. We're not going to do that. Um, is there anything we can buy? Okay, nothing of use. All right. The miners have really torn this place up looking for opals. Watch your step. They're sure to get rough defending their claim. Boop. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know why that one guy didn't turn around. All right, uh, let's take this guy out, and then we'll start this mission. And by take him out, I mean loot him of all possessions. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome. He'll get inside your head. Wow, it's from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. He is going to mess with our head. That's exactly why I want to hear from the guy I'm trying to ask for help. Is that he'll mess with my head just because he wants to. Alright. Oh, come on. How did he see me? He must have turned around like right then. Alright. Come on, buddy. Come out here. I dare you. Oh. He just gave up, I guess. Okay. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with the camera today. Like, it's the same camera, I'm just struggling with it. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really <laughs> hang out there on account on of the, the smell. smell. The smell? It's a long story. <laughs> I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable <laughs> sly. The unspeakable. Well, 
Thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. I do want to know how much time has passed between Sly 2 and Sly 3. Because, like, he has said that he... Like, he just said, yeah, a month uh, he wouldn't talk to me. Which means that Murray's been gone longer than a month, definitely. Oh, fudge! I bumped into him. I looked over. Ow. Screw it. Let's just jump here. Buh bye bye Buh bye <laughs> Um, like, like, obviously gone more than a month, but how long did it take for Sly to figure out McSweeney or whatever existed, and how to go and speak to him, and then to come back and find Murray? Nobody's home, and by the looks of it, I'd say the guru is finding someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? <laughs> they got him! My, My master's a goner! <laughs> Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. Oof. All right. Up we go. Oh, hi, Mr. Dingo. Come on. Oh, come on. How did he not hit the blades? He is standing in the blades! <laughs> they were standing in the blades like it's nothing! They were just standing in them! Some BS! I think that was the cleanest platforming I've ever done in this game. <laughs> Because I don't think I, like, touched a thing for more than half a you second. Guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. I don't understand why we don't get to understand him. Because Sly clearly understands him. The Guru clearly speaks English. Or whatever language they speak in technically in the game. If they call it common or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> That was the picture that I always saw as a kid, and I was like, wait, when did that happen? Because it was after the stuff in Sly 2 that I couldn't play past. Um, the guru speaks goblin. I... Does that imply that Sly and Bentley also speak goblin? And Murray. Honestly, the fact that Murray is, is multilingual is, I think, the most... Um, 
shocking development knowing this knowing that the goblin that um not the goblin the guru <laughs> the goblin the guru does it or does speak it or doesn't speak in english because we can't understand him but it was a character building choice <laughs> But yeah, good party composition. <laughs> good party composition to learn how to speak um, Goblin. Understandable. <laughs> but yeah, Murray knowing multiple languages I think is the most impressive thing. Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stash the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a secure location with plenty of guys on duty to provide protection. I agree. The most likely candidate is this mine shaft. It appears to have the highest number of workers coming in and out. Good place to start. Whew. I'm on it. All right. Jump. Jump. Into the cave. Ah, uh, yes, the the 3D sections. Gotta love the 3D sections in the game that we can't use in the remaster. Which, I don't know why they wouldn't allow it to be used in... Why didn't it just let me jump? Dodge. Okay. I don't know why it wouldn't just let you do the 3D. Like, it's not like it is... Like, there's no reason not to. They had it already programmed in. Like, just keep it. <laughs> Because they clearly didn't do any updates on the game based on the uh, first two. So, like, nothing's changed. Nothing's changed besides it's put on PS3 instead of PS2, which was already, which is already a backwards compatible console. So I, don't, I literally don't think there was anything they actually needed to do to do it. Then they just remove it. Oh, hey, bronze medal. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> I want to know why they just have tons of drills set up drilling nothing. Because, like, yeah, I get they probably were drilling something at the start, but, like, move your drills if you have, quote, the most amount of people coming in and out of this cave. Alright. Oop. Alright. What the heck? All right, we got the moonstone. Time to now we just gotta find a more of the moonstone, a fairy. We trap the moonstone. It looks like a light-sensitive detonator. If I can get it outside and into the sunlight, it should power down. Who falls with a moonstone? Like the one time I have to think of a Pokemon that falls with a moonstone, I can't think of anything. I think Clefairy does. I think Clefairy does. Go, go, go! Run, Sly, run! We're hardly gonna make it out. Like, the, the detonator's almost up. <laughs> Alright. Oh, fudge. Okay, bye. Bye. I was gonna pickpocket you and let you live, but guess not anymore. Because you thought that fighting me. Oh, no! Okay, this is definitely the best way. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Ooh. These caves have no ambient light whatsoever. Fortunately, it seems the Guru's Moonstone is providing enough illumination to let you see. Watch your step. These mine pits are deep. There we go. I got turned around on that one. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeet. Yes, this isn't suspicious at all. There we go. And we got a stick. Staff, sorry. What's so special about this staff? Another booby trap for a the stick? stick? These, These guys, guys are, are paranoid. paranoid. And from the sound of it, they've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. <laughs> Yeet. Ow. <laughs> I think I actually somehow took out like the majority of them there and I have no idea how. What, you don't want to come down and face me? Ow. Oh, come on! Bro, I'm being spawn camped here! <laughs> I was being spawn camped or something. Bro. I literally couldn't walk up to him quick enough. <laughs> I'm getting killed by people I can't see. Uh, all right, no spawn camping. No spawn camping. Shoot. No spawn camping anymore. We got one more hit in us than we did last time. No more spawn camping. Okay. Bro! Somehow we're going to make it out. We should not have made the, uh, it out there, but... <laughs> I literally can't see them and they're just all hitting me. <laughs> Ugh. Alright. Um, there's a Murray mission. Yep. Okay. Gotta get back so that we can get to this Murray mission. There will be... What the? He stopped moving for a sec. Uh, there will be the ball form in this mission. As I'm sure Fentai is very happy to hear. If he's still here anyway. Alright, Murray. Ball! Ball! I am a rolling ball of death. Go, Murray, go. Roll, 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 roll. Just roll. Oh, it's over here. Great. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> Did that dingo just jump up? Dang it, I was a little bit, little bit late looking at the stream. If it wasn't for the guru, I wouldn't be the Murray you see before you today. I'm just not too sure he'll be pleased with my progress as a mystic. What are you talking about? You used the aboriginal ball form to great effect back in Venice. He'll be proud of you. Maybe, but I lost my temper and got in a fight with Octavio. To help me? I'm sure the guru is happy to see friends sticking up for each other. Head into this <laughs> cave. It'll take you right up to it. Okay, Bentley. Caves ahoy! <laughs> Ball! <laughs> Rocks to destroy the stalagmites. 
<laughs> Yeet! What the? There we go. <laughs> Threw me off for a bit. I was like, wait, what? Yeet. Alright. Hello, sir. Would you like to be relieved of your money? Thank you. Would you like to be relieved of your existence as well? Thank you. <gasps> we get to use ball! Not here. Well, I guess we can there, but we get to use ball here in a minute. Wait, I thought those were horns. I never realized that was a hat. I thought that was like some weird horn thing. That makes so much more sense. I thought it was like a weird dinosaur thing that I didn't know. That's just a little tiny western hat. Okay. According to the mine's hydraulic flow chart, the door ahead appears to be sealed shut. Then I'll just bash it in. What's the good of having fists if you can't smack steel doors with them? It's too thick, even for you. No, to get through, we'll have to overload the pressure in this piston. You want me to punch it? I could do that. Use your aboriginal <laughs> ball form to bounce on top of the piston and smash it down. Build up enough hydraulic pressure and the door is sure to open. Piston beware. You're about to be bounced. <laughs> Bounce. Ball. 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 <laughs> Ball. Ball. <laughs> Ball. Go down. There we go. Okay. I don't want to sit here just screaming ball over and over. Yeah, that makes so much more sense that that's a hat. I don't know how I never realized that as a kid. I thought that was like just some weird animal that I wasn't aware of. <gasps> we got triple ball. Triple ball right up here. What the, what the heck? I think I hit like an invisible wall or so. Oh no, I, did I hit that slag? I don't know. Ball. 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 <laughs> Bounce. Bounce. <laughs> this is so therapeutic. Like, it's just... Push as soon as... You, push the bounce button as soon as you hit it. And just watch him go down. It's kind of beautiful. This should be it. It should be done on the next one. Oh no, we got on that one. Okay. Comes to school. Oh, we get to see the mask of Dark Earth. Look at the size of that guy. He must be jacked up by that mask of Dark Earth the Guru was warning us about. Curious. It seems to make the wearer much larger. Probably more aggressive, too. I can take him. My righteous quest to see the Guru won't be stopped by some big stupid freak in a mask. Even if you won, you'd have nowhere to go. The door through has an electric deadbolt. This whole area runs off the same circuit. Even the drills are linked up. Then I'll throw this clown into the drills. That might break the circuit. Give it a try. The fact that Murray was able to think of that and not Bentley feels kind of concerning. Coins! Yeet. Bam. I feel like that just destroying one drill should do it, but I don't know. I'm not an electrical engineer. I'm <laughs> I'm definitely non-electrical engineer, so I don't know. Come on. Mine can do that. <laughs> Bye, mask. Open up. Boom. I have returned, my master. The black water now runs clear. 
I'd like to. I am asking. Oh man. Yeah. I want to join back up with my friends, and uh, we're hoping you'd come along too. Babaji. You'd love it in the gang. We have all kinds of fun. Hot to a bar, hot to fling ting, hot to jump. Miners, gyrocopters, and a mask of dark earth. Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. But we'll help you, I promise. Oh, da da. Thanks, Guru. The only I'm thing that it could too. be understood. Ooh la la. <laughs> bum bum. Move! There's a big truck. Big truck. <laughs> Murray, let's motor out to Ayers Rock and scare away those mining dingoes. Your guru wants it purified. Purified. <laughs> guru uses Sims language. <laughs> you know, that's completely fair. Guru speaks Simlish. Simish? What's the language actually called? Sims language. Simlish. Yeah. The Guru speaks Simlish. So that's why everybody can understand him, because they all clearly are in the Sims. <laughs> Like I may have to take care of a few guards if I'm gonna get at those drill controls. Defeat the guards and start the drill. Then Murray can begin phase two of my plan. Why did I? Th why did I know that the D Slice has no health? What the heck? Why? I literally swapped out of Sly. Why does he have no health? Mr. Scorpion, welcome to the truck. Join the truck! I don't know how that one went in, but I'll take it. Welcome! <laughs> welcome to the colony. I was about to ask how did I not hit him, but I finally... No, I missed! Bro, what? Bro! Fine. There we go, finally. Another one to the colony. Alright. Yeah! How many did we get? Eight? Dang it, I was too late to look at the replay again. That's annoying. Okay, Bentley, I'm on my way. All right, climb the tower. Eat. Oh no, no! I hate when it doesn't let me re-grab. 
Come on. Alright. Up we go! Oh. There we go. Bam. It's draining the water around the tower. Oh. Whoa. Alright. Just run over the blue ones. Welcome. We Welcome go. to the truck. What? How did you... What? <laughs> Welcome to the truck. We're at 10. Halfway there. Here we go. Welcome to the truck. Bro. Flip you stupid truck. Welcome. Truck time. Got seven more? Okay. Six more. Woo. Uh, over there. I see one. See only... There's two. No! Okay, I was like, there's no way he is not in, inside our truck's hitbox right now. Here we go. There we go, 16. Four more. Just gotta keep our tires cool. He is caught on a... Oh my, he just jumped a mile high. Uh, hey buddy. Welcome. Three more. Come on. Aha. I don't like the term purify. <laughs> when we're talking about getting rid of miners. <laughs> that sounds so much worse when I when I say it out loud too, because it's not clear whether it's the profession or what. <laughs> we are purifying the rock of miners. <laughs> like that sounds so wrong. But purify the rock! <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got to see eight go before we lifted the truck up. That's unfortunate. Wait a minute. If we only saw eight. If we only saw eight. We got eight before we went up the ladder. So what I'm seeing here is that we only needed eight. <laughs> All right. Oh. oh, fudge. Roll, Murray! Back to the base. So that Bentley can say hi to the Goo Goo. Come on. Oh, that's not the right way anymore. Uh, this may not be a right way anymore either if there's a guard. Go, Murray. Okay. Bentley, welcome. We could have bought the adrenaline, adrenaline burst, I guess. Oh well. It's not necessary to have. Technically, nothing's necessary outside of, um... Outside of, like, I think... I think Bentley has one necessary and Sly has one necessary. And they're the same necessary ones from the first, or from the second game, so. Uh, is there an easier way up? Try and get up this way. Oh, hi. Goodbye. Oh, wow, he actually goodbye. I did not think that he was going to goodbye there. No, we cannot get this way. Okay, we gotta go the long way around. That's unfortunate. Roll, Bentley, roll. Roll as fast as your little arms can take you. Alright, where's the guy who patrols this? Oh, there he is. Doesn't he look so peaceful? Be a shame if I just... Yoink. And... 
Yoink. And yoink. <laughs> All right. Hail, O Guru of the Stone. Murray has purified Ayers Rock, and now I humbly deliver your walking stick and moonstone. The time for escape has come. Ooh la la. You, There's kind. the Sims language. Tell me, how do you plan to escape? Gadzooks! You can transform yourself! He's probably talking about the, the Simville Llamas a in their, sure in their sports ball game a few, a few days ago. <laughs> Too true! Wait, here comes a guard! Alright. Guru time. First time we get to play as him. We can just... Hmm. What? Where could we possibly be? Oh no! Where am I? Buddy. My guy. Fudge. I don't think he was gonna move. Bro, what? Look away! There we go. <laughs> I, I missed like half a second, I guess. Alright. Hello! Oh my, that was a yeet and a half. The one downside of possessing is that the only way to slow down is to attack. So you just kind of got to roll with the punches. Uh, I don't know if it's a pun saying roll with because I'm like, their legs are like a wheel, but... I even... I hear you, those drills are tearing up the landscape. They appear to be fragile at the base. Ram a guard into it and the whole apparatus should break apart. Oh yeah, some things never change. <laughs> Alright, uh, where's the guard? Should be one up here, right? Or is he not here right now? No, he's here. Dope. Hello, mister. Goodbye. Ooh, got one. Oh, fudge. I was not prepared for there to be a guy there. Uh, yeet. Where's another one? We need another one over here. Uh, hello? Give me a guard. This is so far away. Whatever. Oh my, I did not need to see that face. I did not need to see that face. Um, let's see. Okay. Is there a guard up there? There's got to be another guard in the area somewhere that isn't around that corner, right? No, he's not. Oh, here's a dingo. Hi, Mr. Dingo. Oh my, that thing was a lot closer than I thought. There we go. I don't like the way his head spasms. I've never, I never actually have paid attention to the head spasming. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's go. I know it's awful. However, the linked generator is weak, easily destroyed, provided you can jump a few guards over there and ram it. Oh, oh, Alright, uh, guard. Mr. Dingo Man, your request, your service request has been accepted. Moi! Hi! What the? Mr. Dingo Man, you've been drafted. You have not been drafted to run into a rock. You have been drafted to run into a generator. 
Get your job right. Apply for the job that you fit the description of. <laughs> Don't waste my time being underqualified. Come on. Okay. I don't know if he was going to, like, walk a bit further out there. Yeet. Yeet. Go! Woo! Alright. Beep -ba -ba. Mr. Dingo Man! Actually, know what? We've run two of the first two types of guards. We're gonna run the flashlight guard into it, because why not? Wait, so. Did I call the kangaroo a dingo? I just realized I may have done that on accident. I don't even know how long ago that was, but I probably called a kangaroo a dingo. Why does it look so snowy in the pictures? Like, it looks snowy. It doesn't look sandy. It looks snowy. Enlist the aid. Feed our foes to a local giant crocodile. With some luck, he'll take a liking to the taste of fighters and chow down on them left and right. Second, we'll hit these guys where they live, or at least relax. If we can clear them out of this lemonade bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll be begging to go home. And finally, Sly will use some mining equipment to drill for radioactive oil. The dried lake bed. Trust me, it's the key to getting rid of a mask of dark earth. Interesting. Alright, we're gonna do Sly's stuff first, I think. Actually, let's do Murray's stuff first. We'll do Murray's first, then we'll go to Sly. Murray! Murray! Wait, what time is it? That math talk. Uh, we need to uh, uh, put the smack down on these uh, uh, bad, bad dudes. dudes for justice. Righteous. I'm the man for the job. The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? We have fought a sentient crocodile in this game before. Like, not in this specific one, but in Sly 1, we fight Ms. Ruby. The lines of... The lines of what is sentient and what isn't is very concerning. So, Louisianian crocodiles are sentient. And, well, I guess they're, like... Are, like, dominant... Dominant species... But Australian crocodiles are vile animals, is what I'm understanding. Hello. Come on, let me just throw you there. Ow. He just yeeted us in. Nope. Bye. Ow. What the heck? Why does it let me press the circle button for some reason? <laughs> he had a medal and I was trying to get said medal. There we go. Bronze medal. <laughs> Ooh. Yeet. There we go. He doesn't say... He doesn't say what type of animal the flashlight guard is. Why? 
Tell me what the flashlight guard is, because it's obvious the other two are kangaroos and dingoes. But he also has the same... He has the same icon as the dingoes. Like, he has the same icon as the, as the dingoes and stuff. Nah. We're just gonna lead a leetle around them. What's wrong, buddy? There we go. To dark, dark Earth. Let's see if all of your hard work with this croc pays off. Our nation, that mask keeps, keeps getting, getting away. away. Since, Since when, when do masks, masks get away? away? <laughs> all right. All right, Lemon Rage. Gonna go to a bar, gonna get hammered with these guards, I guess. Let's do it. Go, Sly, run. There we go. All right, boys, look tough and get angry. It's time to intimidate the locals. <laughs> I'm not sure I can do it. How do you guys get angry? Mm. Find the match deep inside yourself. Light it. And let the fire burn up your guts and boil your oh, blood. God. Uh, yeah, yeah. I pretty much do the same thing. <laughs> Look, our goal yeah, is that's why I do too. Miners, and we'll do whatever it takes. All right. I just realized, I think the buttons on the back of this remote, um, press every button at the same time. <laughs> this may become very easy. Lemonade bar. We're known for our drinking skills. Such a good idea. If a lemonade drinking challenge is what you had in mind, then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you've got. Fair dinkum. Losers have to clear out. Ah yes, we are known for drinking. Lemonade, of course. <laughs> I want to see if these two buttons work. <laughs> it's about the same effect of me just pressing the buttons, I think. I might as well just press the buttons. Go, Murray! Go, Bentley! Oh no, Bentley, you're going slow! Go Bentley! I feel like savoring is not the aim of the game. We win. Beaten. Yeet! <laughs> ah yes. Let's give them a being as soon as we immediately all get yeeted into the fence ourselves because it's behind us and, you know, not behind them. You know, you'd think that they'd be smart enough to... Sly, you okay? That was fast, dang. I, I took down I enough guards that. really fast, apparently. Normally it takes me a minute, but I'll take that. Ow. Alright. I should probably have a spin attack at this point, but that's okay. Go ahead. How's it feel to be burnt to a crisp? Die! Die! Stupid dingo. 
Go down, you dumb dingo. Ow. Ah. Um. But I didn't kill anything. Huh. Okay. Boom. This feels like it's going so much faster than it used to. Like, it, it felt like this took a while to do. Oh, hey, I hit a thousand coins. Nice. Bam. Alright. Nope. Rip Sly. Are they still spawning? I don't know. I'm trying. I, I think I'm just gonna kind of collect coins at this point. I can't tell if they're still spawning. I don't think they are. I think that was the last set. Oh nope! There comes another one. Okay. Oh, I don't know how much money we've gained during this mission, but it's been a lot, and I will take it. Boom! Alright, now we're definitely down to the last two. Nice. Oh, there we go. Those guys won't be coming back here anytime soon. Oh. Guys, looks like. The He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take this guy down. That mask has a powerful force in it. Rogue just casually punches through an electric fence. It howls loud enough for it to destroy a bar. All right, that was a, I forgot he does that weird shimmy. Uh. <laughs> yeah, look at how much that did. Come on. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, the, it does nothing to him. Ow! Blows just like dog paddling but in air Murray you better run oh come on they disappeared before you even hit him Bentley you weren't quick enough ah uh, bro he's in the bomb <laughs> take him for a loop around the campfire Sing our campfire song. Our C A N P F I R E S O N G song. Murray, you gotta move quicker than that. Bentley, you gotta move quicker than that. Bentley! It took you ten years to place that bomb. Slide run. Murray? <laughs> Thought I wasn't gonna throw it for a minute. Alright. Bentley. Bentley, you gotta move quicker than that. Okay. Bro, what? Oh. Come on. oh. There we go. Took him down. Finally, that guy was the mask. It's getting, getting away. away? We might have cleared out this Did, bar, does Sly not pay attention? Sure to keep does does he not us. pay attention? We need to destroy it. D does he not pay attention? How did we get a trophy for that? I don't even know how to check trophies on here, honestly. All right. Move it, Sly. The claw. Oh, 
Come on. Gotta play some Toy Story. Hopefully we don't go home with Sid. <laughs> you ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh yeah! Bimbo said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down. Sounds like your thing. Y E S yeah. We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. <laughs> I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Ben. Wouldn't dream, dream of it. it. Oh. That's I know the slideshows. So I guess it's not the same, but I I use the slideshows to, to answer texts and stuff at this point, honestly. <laughs> Oh, they intentionally put Murray out of range. That's really funny. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. Face it, Bentley. I'm a natural. <laughs> Hope you're right, because it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations, stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. <laughs> Here they come. Oh, what the heck was that camera? Uh, the game just did not want me to have a camera there for a minute, I guess. Hello, Mr. Guard. How are you? Do you want to be yeet? Ooh, another dingo. Dingo. Goodbye. D-I-N-G-O. D-I-N-G-O. D-I-N-G-O and dingo was their name. Oh. <laughs> The only it was just running through my head that entire time as I'm as I'm just picking them up as I picked up the first few it was just that song. They are not the best at doing life, are they? All right, let's shake it up a bit. Even then, like it's still in plenty of time for me to get back in time for the next one. Like it, <laughs> it's so easy. As long as I don't miss, like that. Oh, fudge! As long as I don't miss, and even then I missed, and I still did take any di. Oh no, I took a sliver. I don't even know how I took that damage. Cause they definitely do more from one hit than that. Boop. There we go. All right, Murray. Yeet! Oh, it doesn't let me throw him all the way. I wish I could just yeet Murray. That'd be so funny. I knew I couldn't beforehand, but it's still so sad that you can't. It's like, nope, I don't think you will. <laughs> Where are the kangaroos? Why is it only dingoes attacking? It's because like the kangaroos like do like a ground pound attack and they didn't want to deal with that or something. Because that feels like something that they, a game designer would do. Fudge. That feels very much like something a game designer would do at... Uh, which makes sense from a game design standpoint, but he's he was not on fire. He just spontaneously combusted. And not even that's not even spontaneous combustion. That's just combust combustion. I think that's standard combustion. <laughs> All right, 
Mr. Dingo, please just enjoy your time in the fence. They are vaporizing on contact. Like, they're not even, like, doing the, like, weird shock thing normally. They're just vaporizing. <laughs> like, they're having the smoke up here. But they're vaporizing. That one didn't look like he did as much. Yeah, they're vapor. <laughs> That's really fun to watch. Nope. I don't think you will do that. There we go. Hi, Murray. Murray! There we go. We, like, stop jumping bad. Or walking bad. Okay. So he's got to place a rock right there now. Boop. Rock. Bam. What the? How did that not? Also, I want to know why there's so many things out of reach. Like, is that just like an aesthetic thing? Aesthetic choice of the game to be like, yes, it makes it seem more realistic. Because it, these rock things already don't feel realistic. <laughs> that they just have a rock generator. Uh, what the heck? I definitely picked that up. Or I definitely placed that in the right spot. Like that, that was the same spot. Whatever. All right. There we go. And kapow. There we go. Glowing. Woo. <laughs> there we go. Look at me, look at me, I'm glowing. Oh, that was the last mission. Shoot. You can feel it in the air. The miners are about to pack it in. In fact, they'd probably already be long gone if it worked for the corrupting influence of the mask of dark earth. It's where we need to destroy it. Time for operation. We'll need the Guru to take out the gyrocopter. With it gone, we'll have clear skies for Phase 2. Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the Mask of Dark Earth is the sworn enemy of the Moon Spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him pose as the spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The Mask is sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. That's when we'll strike. Murray, thunder plop off the crane and obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. I would like to point out that he said a small sample, and that had Murray just completely covered in that. Anyway, um, if you're watching on the on the YouTube side. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on the Twitch side, uh, that's all we're doing. Well, I guess if you're watching on both sides, that's all we're doing for Sly today. If you're watching on the Twitch side, we're going to take like a three or four minute break and then we'll be back. But if you're watching on the YouTube side, thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave a like and a comment on the video. It helps the algorithm a lot. And subscribe uh, if, you're, if you enjoy the series, if you enjoy Sly 3. I love this game. I say it every time. This is top three game all time for me. So thank you all so much for watching we'll do moon crash next time and i'll see y'all next time peace <laughs>